This will be the largest audience to witness an Emmys, period. The Emmy Awards are finally here. On Sunday night, before any awards could be given out, host Stephen Colbert took to the stage with a musical number. It featured Anthony Anderson, Allison Janney, and a slew of handmaids. They all saying that everything is better on TV, especially in these politically charged times. Chance the Rapper joined in at one point, suggesting that it also might be helpful to get people involved. Hey, why not? After the host sang and danced, he had the audience cracking up, literally. Look at Sarah Hyland, she couldn't even catch her breath. Some of his biggest moments were when he called out President Trump. In the beginning of the monologue, he joked, Hello sir, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Looking forward to the tweets. Colbert pointed out that the Academy needs to shoulder some responsibility for the Trump presidency. He said, We all know the Emmys mean a lot to Donald Trump. Why didn't you give him an Emmy? If he had won an Emmy, I bet you he wouldn't have run for president. This is all your fault. And it didn't stop there. He added, Unlike the presidency, Emmys go to the winner of the popular vote. Where do I find the cards to tell that joke in this room? And the icing on the Trump chocolate cake was when he brought out former press secretary Sean Spicer. Colbert introduced him by asking, Is there anyone who could say how big the audience is? Spicer rolled out on a podium and reassured everyone that this is the largest audience to witness an Emmys, period, both in person and around the world. The stunned crowd clearly couldn't believe that Spicer made a cameo within the first five minutes of the show. Colbert thanked him by saying, Melissa McCarthy, everybody give it up. The actress who hilariously has played Spicer on Saturday Night Live also couldn't believe it. Neither could we. Other standout moments from Colbert's monologue include him making fun of Oprah for being snubbed this year and pointing out that Stranger Things actress Millie Bobby Brown has proven that there are roles for actresses above the age of 12. For Colbert's full monologue, as well as our complete extensive coverage of the Emmys, head to THR.com. And what was your favorite moment? Let me know in the comments. Until then, for the Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Brian Perica.